You know, the court's ruling does not touch on the issue of guilt or innocence. It all turns on whether or not there was a valid agreement not to prosecute and whether your office needed to abide by it. But Cosby was triumphant. On the radio, he said, this is for all who have been wrongfully imprisoned, regardless of race, color or creed. Your reaction? My reaction to that statement, particularly as it is made in conjunction with his other statement, specifically the one that this is justice for black Americans, makes me sick to my stomach and absolutely disgusted. Shut up, bitch. Oh, my God. Excuse me, brother. Miss Parker, Miss Parker. I talk Told to you. you. Parker? We be letting you know evil lurks. <laughs> Long live the habitual line steppers. All right, let's get into the crux of it. Do you really have to lie on a man that is guilty? That's the question. If Cosby was so guilty, if Cosby committed all these abhorrent, outrageous crimes, why would you have to lie on the man? The first conversation that everybody uses is he admitted to it. No, no, he didn't. The next thing they'll go on to say is he drugged these women. No, no, he didn't. And then after that, they go to the narrative of, well, what if it was your sister? Or would you leave your kids around him? These are all stupid conversations. Remember, Cosby was one of the most influential men of the time. Cosby was funny, famous, and really rich. Bill had groupies. That's a fact. See, what they're not telling you is most of the women who came out and accused Bill, they was getting flued out. Yeah, that's right. Bill was flying bitches out well before motherfucking future. Yep. He was out here telling bitches, hey, come on down. You can come stay the weekend with me and I'm going to give you a personal acting class where we're going to do a lot of cocaine. We're going to get high and you're going to suck some dick. And these chicks happily flew the fuck down. That's what they're not telling you. See, a rock star doesn't have to drug his groupies. A rock star just invites the groupies in and the groupies are going to get down. And let's be very clear here. Bill Cosby was a rock star of his time. Bill Cosby was the man who made himself. Remember that? Bill Cosby himself. This was Mr. I Spy. Hell, it was motherfucking Ghost Dad. You telling me these bitches wasn't throwing pussy at Ghost Dad? Hmm. I say all that to say this. Cosby was an adulterer. Sure. Cosby was a man who went out and was fucking other women while his wife knew about it. We know she knew about it, right? There's no way in hell that she didn't know he was fucking other women. But he was an adulterer nonetheless, right? We knew this. We know that white women will lie on black men. There's a history of this. If you haven't seen the movie Rosewood, stop this video, watch Rosewood, come back. Are you back? Yeah, white bitches ain't shit, huh? All right, so back to the clip at the beginning, right? Former prosecutor, a black woman, gets on live national TV and says to the world, She's disgusted with Bill Cosby because Bill Cosby said that this victory is a victory for injustice of black people, right? For the injustices that black people face, should I say. And she goes on to start crying. And at that point, The Rock had to step in. Shut up, bitch. Oh my God. Oh my God. Here's what I mean by that. Before she started to go crying, and by crying, I mean emotional nigga babble, um, she didn't really use logic in this conversation, right? So I'm going to break this down for you. Cosby is a rich nigga. And if they can go and get Cosby with zero evidence, zero facts, right? No proof whatsoever and lock him up. What do you think they're going to do to your broke black ass? Right. And by broke, I mean, do you have NBC money? Because if you don't, you a broke nigga. <laughs> Guys, we had NBC money and I'm not going to get into the whole nigga theory and everything else. 
but let's be real. Do you have NBC money? If the answer is no, they can just as easily lock your black ass up without any money for an appeal. So yeah, let's be very clear here. A win for Cosby is a win for us all. Because if you can go and go get the rich nigga, we don't stand a chance. Now at the end of the day, this is all my opinion. And my opinion, I feel like it's super valid. You here listening, right? <laughs> anyway, just remember, if I ain't shit, you ain't shit for watching.